Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Hello everybody, CSY here with a new game to the channel called Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's an old game, uh, but new to the channel. I hope you guys will like this. Uh, been wanting to play this on the channel for a while. It's a long game, it's a long, it's fun. It's a challenging game, especially the combat. But uh, I played it a little bit and had a hard time with the combat, but I think I can get it better, do better this time. Uh, do a little more training in it maybe and, and figure it out. But yeah, thanks for joining me today. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Please help me out. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And uh, so why not? Help me out. Help me grow this channel. And let me know if you like this. Let me know in the comments. Uh, it's going to kind of depend on what you guys think if we continue it. Uh, I am looking forward to the second one, the Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, which will be coming out early next year, February or so, I think. Husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Uh, 
<sighs> get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? By means, it says here, character, by means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitations. So, <laughs> we have to pick about what we, where we want to start in our, uh, which characteristics we want. We want agility, speech, vitality, or strength. Hmm. Uh, let's say, let's go strength. Let's try it. Why not? And I was sweating in the forage all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Mm. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Hmm. So these are, okay, we're going to continue with this. So let's see, why would it be interesting? So we can rake up our speech so we can kind of fib, <laughs> you know, and... uh be able to persuade people. Let's see. And then we got agility and vitality. Let's see. What does it matter? Hmm. I'm going to do speech. You think he's teaching me sword fighting, don't you? What use would that be to me? Here. I'm not lying to you, Ma. All right, then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry. But you know your father takes a dim view of such things. <laughs> your father who makes swords for a living. All right, go to your father. Have my friends been here? I'm, I'm hungry. Let's see, objective, go to the sword fighting lesson. Yeah, after we just lied to her and said we're not doing it. Is Pa angry at me? Let's find that out. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. Mm. It's looking like such a nice day. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. <laughs> Mom doesn't Mom doesn't approve. Oh, leave it be. Uh, you're misjudging them. They aren't drunks. Uh, let's see. Let's tell her oh, what no. leave it be. You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the forge on to you one day soon. You've been courting that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's stop Can talking about that. I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. And do you need help? You need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Okay. All right. Well, let's get to it. Thanks, Mama. So she left some food for us. Looks like my mouse sensitivity doesn't seem too bad. 
So she said there's some food. Oh, we got cheese. So to eat food, pick it up in the, in the inventory, in the tab, food, select what you want to eat and eat it by holding E. Okay. So we pick it up using E. Okay. And, oh, here's some food here. We can eat it straight from the pot or drop into pot. Drop in the pot. Let's just eat it. Oh, okay. Cool. So where what is our where is our food? Okay. So let's look here. This is tab. This is our codex, I think it's called. And it's got our inventory here, our player stats. And does this mean I can upgrade it? What's the plus sign? Oh, okay. It just uh Strength. It gives it. Oh, look at that. Those are things inside strength that we can upgrade. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Combat. These are all skills and stuff. Oh, boy. Okay. Sidekicks. Quest log. Very cool. Map and codex. Wow. So if you want to learn about the game, you go here. If you want to learn about everything, which we may, we may end up looking at. It's pretty. It's a pretty in-depth game. It's kind of fun. All right, so let's get out of here. Uh, so you could click on cheese and then click eat. E to eat. Oh, you gotta hold it. All right, so we ate some cheese. Where is our? There's our nourishment. Seventy-five. Let's eat some more cheese. Eighty-five, and then uh, energy as well. I think if you overeat, you have some problems too. I think your energy, you get sluggish or something. So. We gotta look at that. All right, so we have, I guess this is showing that it's equipped. Let's see, yeah, this shows that it is equipped, cool. We have some keys there for a trunk. Uh, what else can we, anything else we can grab? We got some apples we can grab, let's grab them. We may need these. Uh, give it to me, oh no. Yeah, get it, Henry. All right, maybe we can get some of this. Nope, okay. All right, so it looks cool. I may turn the sensitivity down a little bit on the mouse, but it's not bad. All right, we gotta go see Dad and get, uh, probably get chewed out. Wait, what's here? Oh, this is food storage. Very cool. Should we... Can we get some more food? Hold on. What is this? Open. Oh. Wait, is this our inventory? No. Found. Okay, that's that inventory. Cool. So we can take all. But let's just take some apples. Take the bread. And this stuff, I think, does have a... Yep, it has a health. It, it will, uh... Oh, what did I just do? I don't even know. Oh, okay. I didn't even know how I did that. That's the title key. Whoops. <laughs> all right, let's go out here. We gotta we gotta go face the music. Since we're all hung over. Oh, compass. Compass will tell you where to go in the quest you're pursuing. Just head for the active objective. Okay, so it looks we got some more food out here. Wow, this is pretty, isn't it? Pretty nice, man. I like it. I like it. The other reason I wanted to play this game is I also wanted to look at medieval structures and towns and things just to see see some of them for uh, to help build in medieval engineers, the other game that I'm playing. So if you haven't checked that out, check it out. It's fun. All right, Papa. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you uh -oh. hear me calling you? <laughs> okay, persuasion. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. 
this is okay. It's a face with a mouth. Okay, it's a weird icon to to begin with, but you look at it. Yeah, uh, you can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by the reputation you have at the moment with the person you're talking to. And then this next one is in the Middle Ages, social status was paramount. So the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are, together with your reputation, can make a big difference on how people respond to you. Hmm. And then we got some swords. If you took look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and the different effect of your weapons and equipment. But other things are also taken into account, such as blood stains on your clothes. Huh, so you can make them up. You can look tougher. Okay. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. You just have to agree on uh, a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping. See trade and haggling. In special cases, you can try any other skill, e.g. horsemanship. Okay. It's not only the manner of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer, because sometimes it's not enough just to choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to rely or really read what you're going to say. Got to be careful. Okay. And, oh, there's more. Jeez. But different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily. And no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned to universal value, but compared with the abilities of his counterpart. You can see the values of the various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can also see your own abilities. Your counterpart's abilities are visible to you if it's someone you know well or you're skilled at reading people, uh, meaning you've learned the perk empathetic. So it shows your money and then the amount you have to pay. Down here, the level of your reputation with your counterpart. 27. Total speech skill. Oh, that's the different. Oh, so Henry and guard. Okay, different speech skills. So it shows if your speech skill is better than theirs. You might, your charisma level, you might be able to go the certain way. Like, you might be able to use speech if your speech is a lot higher than theirs and be able to persuade them. Very cool. Very cool. This is a, it's definitely in-depth when it comes to that. Uh, see, I had to do something. So here we use nobility. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. And I'm definitely not going to use strength against my dad. So what is it saying his is, though? I'm looking at the comparison down here on the bottom left. Does that mean his is just infinitely better than mine? I don't understand that. Let's see. Let's just try to use... Uh, let's do this. Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy? When are you Success. going to get some sense? Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money, then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Uh -huh. I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got to get the ale last. Uh-huh. 
Objective started. Buy a bag of charcoal at the market. Uh, collect the debt. Oh, come on. All right, that's all right. We have it on our compass up here. It shows us our quests. You can find information about the quests in the log, and for clarity, they're also indicated on the map as well as the compass. All right, so quest log. What did it say? The quest log was I. No, quest log. I don't know what that was, but anyway. So here's what we're supposed to do. Go to the sword fighting lesson. Oh. Buy a bag of charcoal. Collect the debt. We got to get the money to buy the charcoal. Uh, pick up cross guard at the castle. And buy ale at the tavern. Last. Oh, look at this. Unexpected. We finally get some fine spring weather. But still, I slept late because I was hungover. Uh, because I was out celebrating late. Yep. In the evening. It was a bit hard getting out of bed because I was hungover. In the end, the bright sunlight woke me. No, your mom woke you. With a little help from my parents. I went to help father in the forge as I'd promised him the day before. But first, he wanted me to run some errands. I started getting some training in sword fighting from a mercenary who turned up in scallops recently. Father and mother mustn't know. Or find out. <laughs> For some reason, they don't want me to learn to defend myself. I got a bit of a cut in yesterday's lesson, though. We're supposed to meet by the ale house again today. I have to go to the market and buy charcoal for father. Uh, great, I've got to get the money for the other things from Kanesh, who owes father money. He's too soft on that drunk. I suppose he feels sorry for him since his wife ran off, but I'm damned if I know how I'm supposed to get the money. Finally, an errand I can actually enjoy. The cross guard for the sword I'm helping father make has arrived from Sas Sasu, and I've got to go to the castle to pick it up. Finally, an errand I can actually enjoy. I say it goes without saying, though. I have to bring some ale for father. Yep. Okay. Let's go do this. Let's, uh, let's see. There's the castle. It's very cool. I like it. Nice little castle. Let's go over here. Let's check this out. I think we got to get the cross guard right here anyway. So let's talk to this guy. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Saradzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sasau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Hmm. <sighs> Where shall I start? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, shut up and give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. <laughs> I like the banter. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. All right. That's done. Now we gotta go. Wow, this is so cool looking. Let's go down here. Nice. And this is into the town, which is surrounded by palisades. Very nice. All right. This is uh, objective over here. These guys are getting water. I'm glad you came. Who are you? Oh, just someone talking. Hey, it's mom. How'd is everything all right, son? Beat me over here. Uh, all right, this is in the dialogue. Take care. Okay, thanks, Mama. But since I serve our liege lord, Sir Radzik, I think you know the answer. True. And where will Sir Radzik take the silver? Hardly to Kuttenberg. Now its citizens bend their knees to Sigismund. Unfortunately, that's not my problem. 
Perhaps Sir Radzig is keeping it at the castle until this whole unhappy story reaches its end. I only hope Sigismund doesn't get an appetite for our silver, too. That makes two of us. But back to business. I'll need three wagon loads. I oh, see your people are working hard. You'll have it tomorrow. Shall we go and drink to the deal? With pleasure, good man. Charcoal burner. Charcoal burner's helper. Okay, I think that's where I get the stuff, but I need to get some money. So we need to go over here. Talk to this guy, I think. Oh, there's our axe. That he's, I think he owes us for that. Let's talk to Kanesh here. God be with you, Kanesh. What do you want? Oh. Father sent me for My money. Father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Oh. You know you owe Father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Debts must be paid. All right, so I'm not seeing... I'm looking at the bottom left there. I'm not seeing his abilities. Does that mean he's infinite on those? Or, or, or does that mean he's got none or that I can beat him in any of these? I don't know. Uh, Father, he said to tell him that he'll be coming next. If that's the way you want it. I'll tell Father you won't pay and you can tell him what you told me. And don't come back. Hmm. Try to get the axe, hammer, and nails back. All right, let's see. Let's look at the map. Well, there's the axe he's got in his hand. What do I do? I guess I gotta steal him, huh? Where's the hammer? Oh, careful, chickens. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you get dirty. Yeah. That can affect you, too. In your speeches and stuff, especially with the ladies. Good what? It's a traitor. That's a villager. We discovered the traitor. All right, where's this hammer? He's got the axe on him, so I can't steal that. I don't see anything in here. Oh, I guess I gotta wait for him to go. Maybe I could steal this axe. Oh, he's only going right there. Crap. Let's go look in his house. Is this a bad idea? Get sneaky here. Just want to make sure. I don't know if he's going to come and catch us. We could be in trouble here. Should I? Can I save this game? Right, hold on. Let's get out here. Can we save? Oh, stop hitting that. Uh, we can't save. Oh, you got to have. I forgot. You got to have the. The schnapps. If you go where you're not supposed to, people will first warn you before calling a guard. But in guarded places, they will arrest you immediately. All right, what's this guy going to do? All right, let's go in here. What do you got? What can you can I steal? Hmm, a locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Need a lockpick for that. Fritz might have one. Aha! What you got in here? Come on. Let's close that. Hope this guy don't come in here. God, this guy's place is demolished. All right, let's go. All right. In a private area, that's why I gotta be careful here. Man, he ain't got nothing. 
All right. Oh, you almost caught us. Well, I see the axe. I don't see the hammer. There's got to be a hammer around here somewhere. Oh, those are cool. That's called a dove coat, I think. Where'd you put the hammer, bro? I didn't look up here, did I? Oh, hey, horsies. All right, what did I miss? Maybe it's in that chest. All right, you know what? Let's go see our friends. Uh, why's the circle? All right. All right, buy a bag of charcoal. And buy ale at the tavern. Well, let's go see about charcoal. Did he give me money? Or do I have to get money from that? I, I got to get money from this guy, I think. From that drunkard. I see. Let's talk trade. Let's see. In shops, you first have to put your purchases, E, into your basket and then either confirm the purchase X or try to haggle. The amount you have to pay is always shown at the top of the screen. I forget. See, it's been a while since I played this, so I forget how this all works, but let's talk to trade. So we have to add it to the basket and then X to check out. Uh, and then Q to see the item info. So we need 10 of these. I have zero coin. So I'm not going to get anything for this. I'm not going to be able to buy this. E. One of 50. We need 10. I pay five and I got no money. Your wealth, zero. Reputation, there's no way I'm gonna get it for free. All right, let's get out of here. You have items in your basket, do you wanna exit? Yes. All right, well, let's go down here. Traders. Oh, here we go. You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to? He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, Henry. to your king. I'm with you, Matthew. So such lords as What's Henry going on here? Rosenberg, Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? <laughs> And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deed will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has mm. gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? <laughs> Too uh, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. <sighs> Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. 
Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Saratik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. Hmm. <laughs> so, how? Are you with us? Okay. Decision to make here. I'll do it, but I need your help in return. I'll do it. I won't do it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. We'll get there. All right, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. Yep. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem. We'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. All right. Let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go get in trouble. Discuss the plan of attack. <laughs> so are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? <laughs> Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. <laughs> We're the clever one of the bunch. We're not so bright ourselves, I think. Oh boy. Uh, lure his wife away. All right, let's talk to her. What do you want, lad? Your husband's making trouble. I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. That what should do sort it. of nonsense? Well. Uh... Well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the Popes. <laughs> he might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. All right, we did it. And she's off. All right, I guess we got to go back over here, right? Go and get revenge. Oh boy. There's the manure pile. Really? Ugh. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For oh. king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. Ain't very clean. Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund. Woohoo! Eat shit, Dorcius. You bastards! <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse Hans! <laughs> Let's make those smites off your faces! Oh. I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Uh-oh. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that. Uh, here we go. Go and get revenge. Oh, boy. Here we go. Unarmed combat. Uh, hook, strong, right, strong, slower hand strike to the head. 
Right mouse is jab. F is kick. Tab is to lock on a point it. Uh, shift is to unlock and Q is to block. See, that's, oh, oh boy, yeah. This is where it gets tough because there's so many things to do. And when you get to swords, it's even worse. All right, so let's escape. We've got stamina to deal with, health, and our wounds, okay. Okay, well, so here we go. So we've got hooks on the left, left mouse, jab on the right mouse, and then blocking and kicking. Blocking his Q. Okay, here we go. Hold, escape. Oh, oh. Jab. Mm, mm, mm. See, here's the combat thing. I gotta... Mm. Oh, 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 kick. Mm. Oh, he kicked me. No. <laughs> the blocking is what you gotta you gotta go the direction of that oh okay let's go what are you doing for god's sake stop right now the catch pole is on well his landed. way damn let's go catch pole catch pole's on the way cowards. we gotta run It's a little tough, but the blocking and stuff and, and knowing where your opponent is coming from, that's what that uh, that icon in the middle was. And that's where it gets a little tough. Because if you predict it correctly, you can block it right. If you don't, you don't block it right. So, All right, so I'm just following these fools. Ugh. Okay, that's a compost pile. It looks like. Whoa, hey, cow. Holy moly. Holy moody. All right, where'd the other guy go? Objective run from the catch pole with your friends. We completed that. Meet the lads at Kanesh's. Ah, they're going to help me get the money back. All right, watch out. This guy. Okay, he's good. Mixed goods, handy implements, and machines of every All right, kind. Come on up and roll Carrots and apples, pick today to put a smile on your face. Oh, we could probably sell our uh, sell our food, huh? I have to steal some more. <laughs> All right, here's that. Yeah, here's Kanisha's place. Oh, there's the other guy. So let's just... I guess we're going to meet him over here. Yep. Waiting on the last guy. Can't talk to these guys yet. Matthew, Mathis, and Fritz. Fritz was the one they said might have a lockpick. All right, let's talk to him. Listen, there's this locked chest I need to get into. Uh -huh. Really? An honest stray not good enough for you anymore? It's just that anymore? someone has something that doesn't belong to him, and I want to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not skin off my nose anyway. I've got some lock picks you can have. But if you get caught, you didn't get them from me. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of you. Thanks, Fritz. All right. Got that. Now what? Now we gotta go open the chest, or we talk to him some more. Let's see. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, mm -hmm. then, then I'll <laughs> snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Nice job on the place. Uh, I need help. I Let's need a hand that. with Kunesh. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it, then. Okay, what are we going to do? 
I know I gotta go lockpick his chest, but let's see what happens here. Ah! Relax. Get out here, you old goat! I've something to show you. What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Oh, here goes. <laughs> oh, shit. That was quick. I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? We beat him up. I got his keys, too. Find something that's worth selling. He's going to go inside? Oh, no. Well, we get this axe. This is one of the things we're... God save you, Henry. Ah, but that guy's sitting right there, and I need to go inside his house now. Let's wash ourselves. There we go. Dude, get up and go do some work. All right, blacksmith's boy. You got the better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last of this. Okay, I guess he's not going to be mad when I go inside. No? He said take what I want. Let's, let's eat some of his foods. And let's get in this chest here. So, I don't... He gave me the key, right? So, yeah, we got the hammer. And the nails. We got it all, baby. So I didn't even have to use the lockpick. That's awesome. And those rooms didn't have anything in them, right? I don't want to just... Yeah, this guy's He's pretty poor. He got nothing, man. Poor guy. Sorry, man, but... Uh, you should have used the tools to make the money to get to pay it back. Because... You got to pay your debts, unfortunately. All right, now let's get this charcoal. This is our other thing we got to do. Let's talk trade. And let's figure out how this works. So we need 10 of these, right? And we... Wait, why does it say... Oh, I still have zero coin. Oh, I could sell them. All right, let's go here. Go back here. We need some charcoal. Let's add 10. We need 10, right? And that's going to cost us... 5. So now we need to sell something. Uh... What else do we get from it? We got the nails. Where's the nails? The nails aren't in here? Lockpick. Didn't we take the nails? We did, but it's not here. Quest item. Other. Oh, they're right there. Big dummy. They just don't... I'm looking for a nail icon and it didn't look like it. All right, so let's add that to the back. See, he's only got 20... Oops. Let's do them all. I get 20, so that's too much. Uh, let's go to the basket. Oh, I sold them lockpicks. That's not... Here I go. I'm screwing up. I'm screwing up. I do not. So let's remove these. I do not want to give them lockpicks. It's because I gave them all the nails and then screwed up. So let's sell them the hammer... So it's showing it's worth five. All right, let's just sell that. And let's sell the axe. Dad didn't want it back. And so we get two. So now we go to basket. We can close the deal or haggle. If we hold X, we haggle. Let's take a look at what this like is. To I'm trying to remember. Price. Sure, why not? All right, so haggling works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. Uh, you select the amount you want to pay or get with W and S and confirm with E. The trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is refusal, he or she will make a counter offer and wait for your response. 
Trader's last offer, your current offer, your money. Okay, your last offer accepted by the trader. Hmm. Uh, next, here we go. If the slider can't be moved in one direction or other, it means either you or the trader does not have enough money. Dragging out the haggling with one offer after another will gradually try the trader's patience and eventually they'll just drop the haggling. Uh, you can see how close you're getting to that point from the trader icon below the bar. The more gold there is in the background, the closer the trader is to dropping, hag dropping the haggling. Every unsuccessful bout of haggling lowers your reputation to the trader. Okay, let's get out of here. So, I could ask him to pay me more. You don't have enough money. Oh, that's my money on top. Got it. So, I could go way down here and say, you need to pay me. Well, that's not going to work. There's no way this guy's going to. But let's, let's do this. Let's see. Let's try one and try to make this offer. See what happens. E. Satisfied? That's better. Drop in a bit more and we'll call it a deal. Okay, there's a counter offer. That's where he wants it. I say let's just go there because we can't go in between anyway, so. Alright. T, what happened? What? Oh, I hit the... I hit T. I don't want T. I didn't want help. I wanted to make the offer. Here we go. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Buy a bag of charcoal, 10 of 10. All right, we bought 10 charcoal. All right, we're done, right? Oh, we gotta get we gotta get the ale. Wait, what's this? Well, I'm glad you came. came. Do you want to learn something? No, I don't think so. Oh, oh this is the combat guy. Hail to the. Yeah. I'm supposed to talk to him. From yesterday's great wound. That <laughs> no, was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yeah. Yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. So this guy's going to teach us uh, a little bit of combat. We got to go there first because we got to get the ale last. We want some cold ale for father. Oh, man. I wish you'd go faster, bro. He said by the sheepfold. That's the sheep up here. It's okay, we get a good, little bit of a good look around here. This is pretty cool. We discovered the combat area. Come on, man. I'm waiting. <laughs> this is beautiful, though, isn't it? So up there... Those fire, I think those are those are the coal uh, burners, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This is pretty cool. All right, let's go talk to this guy. So, can we get started? We can. Yeah, let's do it. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Ah. I don't know what you've taught me. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Keep Your life moving. Depends on it. Okay. Uh, in combat, you're locked onto your opponent. You can move around him using A and D. Oh, come on, man. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability so, is the key. Oh, Never this is my slash and my block. So, unpredictability. Okay. So, let's go. Oop. Nice. Ah. Now you're getting it. Good. I see. We need to. Oh. 
choose a direction. So if I'm going to go down low on this side. Mm. Nice. He's going to block it. Because this guy's good. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Stabbing, huh? Oh, stab is straight. Right. There we go. And Very higher, good. stab, Not lower. Bad. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can this is real quick. Sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As How do we do that? One blow, follow it with another. All right, let's see. You can chain strikes together into a combo. Start a new strike as soon as the previous one ends. You can change the attack zone. Strike repeatedly. Try to press and at the very at the very moment the previous one lands. The window is oh boy, this is tough. So we're gonna do that and uh I did it. Now you're getting it. Sweet. Land and then hit the S next one. Okay. Gotta wait for it to land. That's enough. That's it? I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe yeah. me. Except when you die. <laughs> okay, well, that wasn't much training, but we will get some later. We will train and train and train. We'll have to, if we want to get good at it anyway. All right, let's go here. Back to the tavern. Hi, I'll be back in two shakes. That's Bianca. Here, enjoy it. That's our sweetheart. As you wish. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. Won't let me talk to her yet. Because she's busy. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Do I just... Should I sit Here. down for a minute? Enjoy it. Maybe she'll come to My me. Pleasure. We'll see. Ah, I thought she was coming over. Okay. Let's see if we can go talk to her now. Now that she's done her job. Yay! E. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. Uh -huh. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Uh, you do. Your beauty, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Picture for father. father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. Mm. <laughs> you too. Oh boy. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. <laughs> I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite... Save your schnapps. Really? My favorite. You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. You bet I will. 
She gave us five savior snaps, saving the game. The game saves automatically at important moments during quests. And when you sleep in your own bed, to save it immediately, drink savior snaps. Okay. So, in our inventory. Still got these trunk keys. Kinesh's keys. Got 0.3 Groshin. Where's the savior snaps? Oh, I'm not looking at all. I thought I was looking at all. My bad. Cross guard for the new sword. There's the stuffs. Pitcher for Eveal for father. And savior snaps. So drink this. This is what you have to drink to save the game. Um, and it automatically saves, like it said, whenever you finish quests or whatever. All right, quest, quest points. So now we got to go give this thing to father. But... This episode has run uh, its course. So I'm going to leave it here. And we'll continue in the next one. I appreciate you all joining me today. As always, you guys are great. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this game. I'm, I enjoy it. And uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see. See if you like it. Let me know in the comments. Comment, share, and uh, be sure to hit the like button as well for me. Help me out. Help me grow this channel you guys are the only ones that can do it i cannot do it without your help so i need you also subscribe if you haven't yet it's free doesn't cost anything it's more like a follow on facebook or instagram yeah and uh why not why haven't you uh you look at my I look at my analytics and it's like 80 something percent of uh people who watch my content are not subscribers and it's free and it's easy and it will help me grow and help me to do other games by uh, by growing this channel. Once again, thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one.